in this video I will be using PowerShell to enable the old right click mouse menu. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can see the objectives for this video. The first one is to enable it for a single user, the one that is executing the commands. And the second one is to enable it for all the users on the computer. And here you can see the PowerShell snippet that I will be using to enable the old right click menu for the user. Basically it's a single PowerShell command that creates a registry key and that enables the old right click menu. And now I will show you how it works and for that I will click on the button right here to copy the snippet. Then I will go to my VMware workstation because I will be enabling the old menu on this virtual machine. If I right click now you can see that currently it has the new menu here. So let's open the terminal application and let's run it as administrator. Let's insert the snippet here and let's press enter. And it seems that the command was executed successfully. But if I right click, you can still see that I have the new menu here. Because for this setting to apply, we need to either restart the computer or we can sign out and sign back in or we can restart the explorer process. And I will be restarting the process because this is the fastest option. So here in the command line, I will type get process. Then let's type explorer. And then let's do stop process. Let's press enter. The explorer process restarted. And if I right click now, you can see that I have the old right click menu. And that's it if you want to enable it only for yourself or for a single user. But if you want to enable it for all the users on the computer, it gets a bit more complicated. Because this registry key is in the current user hive, that means that we need to create it for each user on the computer. And for that we can use Active Setup. But before I show you how Active Setup works, I will create another user account to show you that the new user account will have the new right click menu. So to create the user, I will type net user let's name it john let's give it a blank password and let's add add let's press enter now let's sign out from this user and let's sign in to the john user and now i'm in john's user profile and if i right click here you can see that john has the new right click menu and now i will go back to my admin user and I will change John's right click menu from the admin user. So once again, let's sign out. And now I will sign into my admin user. Let's open the terminal application and run it as administrator. And let's go back to my GitHub page. And here I have another PowerShell snippet, but this time it creates a registry key for active setup. And if you don't know how active setup works, you can check out the videos that I have here. But long story short is that whatever commands I have in my active setup step path will be executed once for each user on the computer, even for the users that I will be creating in the future. And here you can see that I'm creating the same registry key that I was creating for my admin user. But this time this command will be executed for each user on the computer. Anyways, once again, I will copy the snippet by clicking on the button right here. And then I will go back to my virtual machine. I will insert the snippet and I will press enter. And the command was executed successfully, but I will double check by going to the registry. And for that, I will go to my start menu. I will type regedit. Click yes here. Then let's go to local machine, software, Microsoft, active setup, installed components. And here we have enable old right click i will click on it here we have the stop path registry entry and here we can see the value and like i said this value right here will be executed once for each user on the computer during the logon process anyways let's close everything and let's see how it works so if i sign out now from this user and then sign in to the john user and let's try to right click now. And here we have the old right click menu. And that means that the active setup was executed successfully. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.